Kilo Julia 4, Romeo Kilo Foxtrot, Kilo Charlie 2, India Radio Victory. Are you copy? I copy, co I copy, uh, David. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah, I guess we were, uh, I guess we were bothering them a little bit on the net, so, uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to let you know what I'm running here for an antenna. I'm running a, uh, 40 and 4020 meter fan dipole. It's strung about, uh, 30 feet off the ground. And, uh, like I said, I'm trying out a new little homebrew, uh, HF amplifier that I, uh, uh that I built here. Um, it was actually one of the little $23, uh, 70 watt HF amplifiers off of eBay. And, uh, I have it sitting next to me, uh, on, uh, on a circuit board in a, in a heat sink with a little fan on it. So it seems to be doing the job really well. Uh, it was, uh, for 23 bucks, I figured I could take a chance on it. Back to you. come up uh, two S units, so the vertical did do you, uh, do you uh, uh, some help. So yeah, you're, uh, you came up two whole S units. So um, I'm running about uh, 50 watts out of this unit. It's capable of 70, but uh, right now I'm keeping it low just to kind of try it out. Uh, it's, it's a kit. It's one of the kits that uh, on eBay, they sell them for about 23 bucks. The Chinese sell them for 23 bucks and it's a kit. Um, and with 5 watts of drive, it'll give you between 70 and 80 watts of, uh, of output, peak envelope power. I actually made a YouTube video on it, so, because there was a lot of people complaining because there's no information on how to put these things together. I was able to kind of cobble how it went together through the pictures they had on the eBay listing. So, but, uh, it seems to be, uh, I've tested it out on my, on my test equipment and it seems to be, uh, Seems to be working pretty well, but yeah, that vertical definitely uh, definitely brought you up some. Uh, back to you, uh, uh, KJ4 RKF KC2 IRV. Okay, copy, uh, copy on the loop. Um, I actually run for QRP purposes. I have a 20 meter delta loop that I run that's got a, a, a 4 to 1 ballon on it. And uh, I want to put up a 40 meter loop. Uh, 
that's uh, horizontally polarized uh, fed at the uh, with the apex down fed at the apex and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna match it with a piece of 75 ohm cable to act as a match so uh, I've uh, had a lot of really good success with my 20 meter loop in a short time um, really quiet too I imagine your loops the same way it's it, it's really quiet the noise level seems to drop down but uh yeah I want to get that up in the trees soon before the snow flies anyway up here <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, it sounds, I mean, the Ver it sounds like the uh, VersaTuner's doing the job for you. You know, you're certainly, uh, it certainly came up quite a bit, so, um, you know, two S units is, uh, it's a, it's a heck of a jump. So, you definitely, uh, you definitely did well, uh, did well with that loop. Uh, back to you. Okay, David, uh, copy, I copy the whole thing. Uh, I'll uh, say 73s while you can hear me with uh, the stations in there, try, you know, probably uh, cover me up a little bit. So, 73s, 73s, 73s. Uh, from uh, K, uh, KJ4 RKF, this is KC2 IRV, and I'll say 73s, and I will be uh, clear. Uh, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the cue, sir. So the amp works. Um, that's proof of concept. I don't have it hooked up to the keying circuit of the radio, so I had to take a little jumper and plug it in the PTT. So it would key the amp. Which actually, if I left it in, I could still receive somewhat. I had to turn the volume up, but it was kind of hard to hear for me. So let me shut this off. Ugh. There we go. Some peace and quiet. Anyway, so a little amp works. That's a live on-air test. Uh, I turn the bias down so that it outputs 50 watts. So, um, and that's, uh, that's all she wrote. Uh, neat little amp. Just need to put it in a better box and make, make uh, some low-pass filters. So, that's it for now.